So that's the. Uh, so hello, good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning. It is uh, May. 10, 11, 12, 13th, I think, the 13th Saturday. We're talking to Bob about his new Takahashi. Tell us a TOA 130NF from Takahashi, which we got from our friends at Land, Sea, and Sky. Fred. Fred is Fred. Fred, and we're going. We're talking about it because Bob just opened a box. And I said, Bob, you want to talk about it on camera? He said, sure, turn it on. And that's, so uh, keep talking like it's not on. And what we're going to use this for... Uh, uh, an ac an ac an um, a yeah, that's two a hard element, word. Two, two elements. <laughs> it is. A, a, a acromat. Two lens of, of, of scope, which we're going to use for our finder and our guide scope. Of course, that opens up the, uh, the part of super wide field viewing uh, with, with some of the larger nebulas or whatnot. So, so this is a Williams. You got a, a Williams, Williams optic. Yes. It's not a Takahashi. I was recommended by that by several of the NSN crews. That's a uh, telescope in itself, Bob. Yes. Exactly. That's a telescope in itself, Bob. Of course, what it is is it's a nice little. And this is with the dew shield, the whole bit. And this type of t this is a this would, would be considered a refractor yes, finder it, scope yes, as is. well. Yes, it is. Huh? It's actually a telescope. I mean, uh, some people call them finders. Some call, people call. Oh, them you guides. pull it. I saw that you just manipulated. You put it farther away, like a. Uh, depending. Well, on how are you going to mount that? Well, and that's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on the mount from OPT. Um, it's got the, the What's the part that the slides? Rings. That's just that part slides there? Yes, that's just the dew shield there. Depending on how much oh, light I you see. want to gather and how much uh, air you want to keep oh, away from that lens. Let's see. So. You've got a... What's on the... Uh, there's a base to it. Is there a runner that it runs on? Is that how you're going to mount it? This is typically... This is a real telescope. A lot of folks use this as a grab-and-go scope, as in take it on the airplane, take it to the, yeah. uh, the, the Eclipse out in... Uh, well, Western uh -huh. U.S. this year. Uh -huh. Mount they'll Shasta. have a real light, real light little uh, tripod, and they'll bolt that to it. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to use it for, we're going to take that bracket off and actually put our finder scope rings in this area right here. We're going to mount that, have a little uh, 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 rail mounting Those are already rail. threaded in there. Huh? And I don't know if it's going to line up with our... Right. But basically what will happen, this will be here, and that will give us our, our wide field or our guiding or uh, finding. There's the word apochromat. Ap that's a, that's a triplet. That's an, a, an a, a APO and a apochromat is a triplet. Three right. lens set up in the in the scope itself. This is a two lens. A this two is a uh, trichromat. Uh, uh, no, bichromat. Acromat. Acromat. Acromatic. Acromatic. Yes. And I always uh, fight them more. So bear with me, folks. Look, it tells you right there. Don't point it at the sun. Look at that. Don't, oh, no, it says don't put your eye in it while it's pointed at the sun. That's actually what the warning is saying. In Japanese. And of course, what we're going to, I finally got broke down. More boxes open. Bought a decent. Um, oh, a, a diagonal. A decent diagonal from uh, Teleview. And this is uh, their Everbright version, which is supposed to be a very, very nice one. Um, all the Takahashi uh, uh, lenses are ground to like a one tenth wave, and so is this. This is supposed to be good for one tenth wave, which is should give us a really phenomenal views. So, depending on sky condition, of course, here in, in Soupy, Texas. So. Oh, but the spring has been a wonderful weather. Don't you love the weather? <laughs> our, uh, for everyone who's wondering, we've we made it through whatever individual storms have passed over Cypress and Tomball, Texas, and around Houston. The weather outside is very comfortable. It's cloudy. Uh, you know, it's not clear. It's cloudy. Give a shot of the lid if you want to. But we're going to, uh, we're at the observatory. When we got here, the rooster was cacaoing. Let me even look into it. Let's see me look into it. Yeah, see, that's pretty interesting. Can you, I don't know if they can see that. Let's see, can we zoom in? See what they can see? They can. That's pretty you interesting. See all the baffling in there, that, that uh -huh. nice baffling. Uh -huh. And that really uh, killed any kind of stray light going down that path, uh, which give your, your super, super crisp, uh, contrasting views. So. so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this short. We're going to see what we have to do with this. Introduce, we just introduced you to the new Takahashi. Let me come over here and make sure I say it right. The TOA 130 NF. Which is for the big focuser version is what that is. That's a four-inch focuser.
for uh, our Cosmic Obsession Observatory. And we've got a busy day because, because we do. So join us and we're going to talk to you some more in a little bit. We'll be right back.